Hey guys, welcome back to Dino and Nick's uh, homestead. We'll do a little garden tour here. I think what we're going to do is start off showing you our bell peppers. Uh, we usually show these start off on the other side of the garden, but we thought we'd start off on this side. Of... Now we've already picked uh, just just loads of, of uh, bell peppers off these plants, and you can see we still have some some bug damage, but they're that grasshopper probably. But these plants are big enough now where they can take a take a insect damage. You can see we've got some nice bell peppers on there right now. But these bell peppers are very slow growers, but actually they're getting into the hot time of year and that's actually what they like. So, Lots of them. Uh oh, what'd you find? No, I thought that was some poop. I don't think it is. Poop? Yeah, that's probably grasshopper damage. Got lots of peppers you in there. You can see they've only grown Probably in the last month and a half, they've probably only grown uh, maybe a foot in the last month and a half. But uh, we've got bell peppers on both sides. We've got the, the mesh up right here so that we can tie them off. We'll let these get a bit bigger before we pick them. And if you leave them on the vine or the plant long enough, they'll turn red. Yeah, but the, what I worry about is leaving them on there to turn red like that if it doesn't uh, slow down the production of peppers mm. because you know they're still sitting on the plant and the plant's not being active and it gets so hot down here too that sometimes they get sunburn right next to this is our jalapenos you see the jalapenos how tall they are these things are about five foot tall now and we had uh kids over a couple of days ago and they all took uh five gallon look, bucket here's full a, of stuff and here's a vermin right oh, here kill them. that's a stink bug He's, i think that's a larva stage of mm -hmm. one uh, and we haven't had very many uh, insect problems this year. And we don't know if it's because of the freeze that we got. Oh, it fell off. Oh, did it? Because of the freeze that we got that killed back the insects or putting the chickens in the garden, maybe getting some of the larva out of the, out of the dirt. We really don't know. So we've got two rows here of, uh, of uh, jalapeno peppers. And then next to those, we have tablettos. Beautiful. What kind of bug is that right there? I don't know what kind he is. Winged. I think it looked like a bee. It was striped. Yeah. Beautiful. Poblanos. We'll let these get bigger. Uh, Dean's got a good recipe for stuffed poblanos. They're not as hot as jalapenos, but to my tender Canadian tongue, they might be a little spicy. This is a plant that we showed earlier. Remember, they had all the insect damage. This is uh, one we sprayed, damage. you know? Got rid of the bugs, that's for sure. Yeah, we spray, we got rid of them. But you can see the they still got the mold on it that uh, from their uh, residue, their sugary residue. Not stopping spray. the production though. No. We got some bigger poblanos down here. Actually, we got a bunch of poblanos down here. Yeah. A whole bunch. Poblanos are a, are a mild pepper. They're not they're not hot, and uh, I like shiny. to. I know, I know that most people will uh, take these. Poblanos, they steam them, peel that skin off. Uh, but I don't. I actually like the skin. I just, I just eat them like that. I, I, I find, I find them quite tasty. Nice and shiny, babe. Beautiful. And then this last row here is our uh, tomatoes, and these are uh, indeterminate tomatoes. That means that they'll just keep growing until the sun knocks them down. And, How tall and, uh, that one is? They've served their. Yeah. <laughs> That's about eight foot tall. Yeah. This side of the garden doesn't get a lot of sun, though. But, I mean, there's still some red tomatoes down there that need to be picked. Yeah. We've got a... The, yeah, you've got one red one over there. Is the, uh, we've got some indeterminate down that we'll show you. But, I mean, yeah, some determinate on down. But these are indeterminate. So they're just going to keep growing until the, until the sun knocks them out. Until it gets, just gets too hot. Once the, the nights get a bit uh, above... I'd say 75 degrees, the flowers really won't set fruit anymore. And, and it's almost at that point in time uh, in Texas right now. You can see where the tomatoes are tying in with the with with their beans. beans. Yeah. Ooh, it smells very tomatoey down here. We've got some tomatoes ripening down here. Yeah, I'm gonna need to pick them. Got some nice ones. We usually don't ripen on the vine um, because bugs will get them. But like Dean said, we haven't had very many bugs um, but birds, birds do like red tomatoes, and one of them was uh, attacked by a bird. But I'm, I literally cannot keep up with the tomatoes this season, among other things. Want to talk about your Malabar spinach? Malabar spinach. Look at this thing. 
It's taken off. This is a heat loving spinach that uh, actually I've tried some and it is uh, I'm not sure how it's going to do in a stir fry. I haven't done a stir fry with it lately, but uh, I know that eating, eating it raw, it's uh, no, oh, it's got a different texture. It's very, very green tasting, though. I think it would be better in a salad. As you chew it, though, it gets a little slimy. Oh, it does, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, I don't know about that. I think this might be chicken food. It's actually not <laughs> even real a uh, member of the spinach family. It's just called Malabar spinach. Yeah, that might be chicken food. Ooh, that was unpleasant. Now, this four uh, of our determinate tomatoes here and uh, right over here. And you can see they're only getting to be about four foot tall, but they have put on a load of tomatoes that we've actually uh, have picked tomatoes off these things for a week and a half now. Like I said, I cannot keep up with them. And then here's uh, more bell peppers here. Yeah, this is bell pepper for the other side. Very lush, very uh, productive garden this Here's year. Some nice ones in here, babe. Oh, nice. Well, I know I'll be making more tomato sauce, so. And the mosquitoes are terrible out oh, here right gosh, now. Oh gosh, yeah, I'm getting eaten alive. So that's the first half of our garden. Uh, we're gonna come back and do uh, the second half in a few minutes. You know, next homestead. <laughs> 